Bogner's not correct. You giving it to him, Landro? Oh, I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> yep. You can film. You can film. Lucky you. It's the one upside to this encounter. <laughs> Usually tickets are $150 for nosebleeds to see this guy play. You a fentanyl mule? Open up this trunk. I would actually purchase some off of you if you do have some. We're actually trying to buy. Are they pretending to be dead right to buy. now? We're trying to like... Wait. Wait, is that real sign lad? So they're going back and forth in sign language for the audio listeners, <laughs> asking for drugs, essentially. So so the guy couldn't actually hear the violin the whole time he's actually deaf, is that what we're understanding? I don't think he's actually deaf, he says something. 20? Oh, here's my 20. 20. There it is, there it is. Come on, man. How much? How much? This better be some fire shit. <laughs> this better be that Mac Daddy smackaroonie. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. Did I insult you? 25 bucks? Is yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Here, I'm leaving 20 right here. 20, 20 right there. Look, 20 right there. This is how you do it. This is how you buy drugs on the street. Put a 20 on the ground. You next act to like the you guy. don't know what's going on. Leave the money over there. Hey, everybody. Okay, okay. Danny, Danny. <laughs> this is not a transaction for fentanyl. Okay, okay. On the ground. You know. Come on, do you know how we do this? On the, on ground. the ground. On the ground. Right next on to the, the 20. There, see that? Leave it and whistle a tune as no, you walk. Okay. Yeah, no, that's how you do it, Leo. That's how it okay, works on the streets. It, that's you. how it works on the streets. We got it right there, dude. Yeah, yeah, they go, <laughs> the security guards start coming. They go on to say that it looked like, um, what's the fake weed called? I forget what it's called. Um, oh, uh, spice or... Uh, yeah, something like that. They say it's synthetic marijuana. But the fact that you can just procure a drug deal in the middle of the subway and nobody cares is a sign I think of the time of in Los Angeles. I'll skip through it a couple portions there to find the people this I was talking remind about. Me, do you remember um this was an older video from a couple years ago, I believe, when Jorge Ventura was in San Francisco and procured a ten dollar bag of fentanyl or something. This was a handful of years ago. I mean it's just it's easy. <laughs> These are the people. Um, what does that say on the back of their uh, Metro Ambassador, I believe? Yeah. And this, this can I just say this too? I believe to be another. I, look, I don't want to call it money laundering. I can't prove. Oh that. no, I, for, I know exact. I thought the exact same thing, Eric. It's a government program where they gave money to the Metro system because they want to be anti-cop while at the same time saying they're doing something. So what do these people have? They probably have some Narcan in these backpacks, a whistle and a phone or something, and a flashlight. Yeah. And, a and it says, pair, like, pair contact, report. Yeah. They're, they're giving out love, essentially. And clearly, that's probably like a $200 million program. Let's see if we can find... I'll look and if wait, I can find that. Before you... Um, there was another video. Ah, I should have sent it to you. Darn it. I forgot. <laughs> but there's another video of this very same um this very same community outreach nonsense in in San Francisco. Or don't quote me, it's in a, it's in the Bay Area. I don't know exactly what city, but in the San Francisco Bay Area, where they're standing there watching there's two of these like community ambassadors standing there watching a guy like destroy a parked car and they're just they're just they obviously can't do anything. They're they're unarmed, right? Because it would be super dangerous for them to have a gun, which is probably true because I think most of them are just recovering dope fiends anyways. But these, these community activists or whatever, they're clearly like, I, a lot of them come out of like these rehab centers and stuff maybe. But but then there's another catch-22 because in San Francisco, you're it's going to be much easier for you to... Sorry, I keep talking about San Francisco when this is clearly about LA, but they're really not that different. Um, it's going to be much, much more difficult for you to find a in a or a rehab facility than it would be for you to go down and get a box of clean needles. So this is all complete. <laughs> up, bro. All right. So here's what it is. Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority celebrated the official launch of its Metro Ambassador pilot program Monday, deploying nearly 300 ambassadors throughout the Metro bus rail system. And this was. Mar so this is recent. This was a month and a half ago or yeah, two months ago. So, yeah. 
Uh, crime on metro and train buses has steadily increased. According to the Transportation Authority, violent crime, rape, assault, robbery, and murder went up 24% in the past two years. In 2022, and I think this was in the video, 21 people died while riding Metro Line. Yeah. That's insane. That's yeah, complete uh, insanity. The numbers Danny, already matched that within the first three months of 2023. Yep. yep. That's what I was going to say. Because I only watched the beginning of the video when Danny was like, um, basically, I guess he was... I, was it this article specifically that it was reading? I don't it even might know. Have but been. Yeah, because he said, uh, what, two years ago, 21 people died, and then 21 yeah. people already died in the first. It, it's absolute insanity. So they're and on nobody pace cares. for a good, uh, on pace for a good, like 90 or so. Listen to this, though. It says the ambassadors are specially trained in customer service and experience. Who cares? Conflict de escalation. Yeah, right. Public safety awareness, meaningless. Emergency preparedness, meaningless. Trauma informed response, meaningless. Disability awareness, meaningless. Transit operations, somewhat useful, among other things. Do you, do you think people know how to? They don't know how to operate the transit system. Give me a break. Do Do we really think for one? I meant by transit operations, like what time the train, where the buses go, what uh, okay. where you go to get the bus and everything. That's right, what I right. took that as, but. Conflict de-escalation. You think a crackhead comes up with a shiv? These people are doing anything but running away? To be no. clear, ambassadors are not security officers. See, that's their... like. So what are they going to do? They're not replacing existing security staff or law enforcement. Their role is more nuanced. The role is to do nothing. I want to know... This is what I usually do in articles like this, Eric. I do a good control F. And I do dollar sign. So and there isn't one. So they're not going to tell you how much it costs. It sounds to me like these uh, these ambassadors or whatever are just kind of like patsies, bro. They're just they're just volunteering to be put in more danger, right? You you're already in it's danger if paying you're, work. <laughs> yeah. So if you're if you're riding the the Los Angeles Metro, you're going to be, you know, it's probably a bit unsafe. So now you have nothing to presumably you have nothing to protect yourself with. So you're getting paid Argue possibly minimum wage to put yourself in harm's way because that's better than trying to hire a couple more cops. And this also is coming at the same time as Gavin Newsom is claiming he wants to deploy the, the National Guard again in San Francisco to stop fentanyl, which looks like it looks like the whole you know what the whole the state should probably just float off into the Pacific and start over. I can do you better than that last article, Eric. I, I can one up that last article with the explanation for this. This is from LAStreetsBlog.org. Metro officially launches 300 strong transit ambassadors program. Here's their justification. They approved a pilot program, um, which we already mentioned, as part of the agency's effort to reimagine public safety after the killing of George Floyd by p- police in Minneapolis in 2020. So George Floyd, Minneapolis means... LA needs change and more funding for this. Uh, the funding is u- used for the pilot was in addition to not in place of commitments to law enforcement. We'll go ahead and do our search for the dollar sign again. We have one and it's from a different article. So, um, Oh wait, police and contract. That's actually the police getting $150 million a year. Um, yeah, we don't have anything about how much it costs in here. I'd imagine I'll look again, Eric. I'll look again. Jordan. 